session that we have is, is a very interesting session where we have none other than Dr. Mahmoud al Durai, who is the senior advisor to the Dubai government and the chairman of Community Associations Institute Middle East. He has a very, very special message for us and I would like to share that message. Well, hello everyone. Uh, I would like to, be, to speak about uh, community management post and such an important summit, International Real Estate Community Management Summit. Uh, so let me try to share my uh, presentation with uh, you on community management post COVID-19. So, COVID-19 impacted everyone, right? And there was an article actually uh, in March 20th in the Foreign Policy magazine. It talks about what kind of a globe we will have post COVID 19. It talks about uh, more focus on sustainability, more focus on resilience. It talks about less about profitability. So it talks about uh, a different kind of uh, cities. It talks about a city that uh, uh, people do not care so much to be in the center of the city, people who are looking to, to locate the suburb uh, and so on. But what it means for us in community management, this is an important topic. If we link it to the global goals SDGs, then we're talking about number 11, which is how we build more sustainable and more resilient communities post COVID-19. Well, it's a crisis time, yes, but a crisis has danger and opportunity. And I think this is an opportunity for a lot of uh, owners, association management and community management companies to take the lead. And Crisis time, you choose to panic or calm. So being calm is the right strategy, but calm based on strategies. So it's not about being the strongest, it's not about being most intelligent. Actually, it's about how we respond to change. So it is an important skill and it's an important thing within the DNA of companies. They need to be responsive to change. So how we build an anti-fragile organization is important for all community management companies. And by that, we mean that we need to have a plan B. We need to have business continuity plans. 51% of companies don't have business continuity plans. It is actually the right time for such a thing and be prepared and ready for the future. We need the right leadership. We need to have uh, the networks and relationship built with an organization. We need also to be ready for change. These are the different three corners and pillars of building resilience within the organization. Uh, there's so many books about uh, resilience and uh, fragility and so on. The most important thing is people usually tend to forget. So this crisis should not pass without taking lessons. We need to have tough lessons going forward. This is how Dubai used to be in 93. This is how it became 2010. And this means and this shows how resilience was part of the DNA of the city. So we should have this also part of the DNA of communities and organizations. This is how this and this is how it looks right now. So this on the left, a watchman comes at 8 a.m., close the airport at 2 p.m. with two airlines uh, leased from Pakistan Airlines. Today we have 200 airlines by Emirates. So this is again part of resiliency of grow. You become stronger, you become more sustainable. So if we talk about real estate and communities, we need to focus on four pillars. We need to focus on quality of life. So how we build better communities. And now we've seen this actually more important post in COVID. People want walkable areas. People want the greenery. People want social life. People want to feel a, a, a relief in the middle of all such uh, pressure. Government role is important. Economic sustainability is extremely important and resilience is another pillar. How we build all these pillars, we do build on military platforms. We need to engage stakeholders. We need to have the right transparency. We need to invest in innovation. And this is, again, we link it to community management, what it means for us. We need to build dynamic capabilities. So as community management companies that I've talked to you today, we need to integrate and build resources and competencies to achieve competitive advantage and to compete and become competitive in such very difficult uh, uh, environment.
environmental context. And by that, we mean we need to reorient ourselves from focusing too much on profit to focus on purpose, from so much about hierarchy to focus on a network kind of uh, structure of organization, from controlling to empowering our staff to uh, uh, take them to the next level and so on. So this is what kind of transformation we need to have if we want to have more resilient and more adaptable organization. Uh, the information from World Economic Forum means and shows us that 50% of our employees need reskilling because we need the new skills nowadays. We need technology skills, we need problem solving skills. So, what it means for us means we need to invest as community management companies in our staff. Technology is important, digital infrastructure is important, and we need to be ready for such transformation, especially with COVID that accelerated such change. So, go to what we want to have. We need to be ready for tomorrow because future belongs to those who are ready and prepared for tomorrow from today. The importance of home. This is a trend we need to take as community management organizations. We, 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 we told people from the beginning, stay home, stay safe. Stay, stay. So home is central. Home is important. So how we make people feel safer, healthier, uh, socially sustainable uh, in their communities. This is the job of community management companies. And that's why in the Bailand Department at RIRA, uh, uh, healthy buildings and well-being certificates were launched to enhance people's confidence. We need to have healthy buildings that invest in cleanness, uh, invest in uh, uh, green energy, and so on, because this has an impact over people's lives. There is now an increasing number of research that shows that there is a relation between the environment and our health, between the buildings and our health. This is an important trend we need to take in community management. We need to prepare for risk. And this is what we've done in the UNDRR, the United Nations Disaster Risk Reduction. We have 10 principles. We need to organize for resilience. We need to have a registrar of all kind of risks that we will find and we will face in buildings and be ready for such uh, risk and get all the stakeholders part of this strategy. This is again another thing we need to take away from this crisis. Uh, we need to build more resilient buildings and be ready for all kind of disasters and just a sample of uh, what it means to be a resilient building. We need to have comprehensive plans. We need to be uh, ready for all kind of risk. RERA announced at the beginning of the COVID the Together initiative uh, and at that time the meaning of it and the purpose is we want to create collaboration between real estate companies and peoples and communities by providing food supplies, medicine, emergency maintenance, and all kind of these uh, important things in communities. We need it at that time and we still need to enhance the community sense and belonging. And from this COVID is we need to see how the technology is disrupting uh, real estate, especially commercial. Now, working from home means a lot for us as community management. It means that people will stay at home. They will consume more energy. They will use the facilities more. We need to be ready. And it also means that for commercial offices, it may be difficult times for them to manage these offices, empty offices. Uh, in Dubai, we're lucky to be prepared for such work from home and remote working. They were the second best city worldwide when it comes to that. So we need to build on the strength of the city in our communities and utilize the digital infrastructure. We need to see how people's behaviors are changing because this will impact how they live, how they uh, enjoy the facilities of the uh, building. We need to invest in a greenery. We need to invest in healthy buildings. And this is a future. This is the future trend. So, and this is again, because there is a relationship between the environment and people's health. So how we develop our cities, how we rethink the development of our cities, we need to build more bike, we need to pay more attention to the community's uh, uh, structure and common areas. We need to utilize them, we need to make them uh, uh, friendly and desirable to people. And we need also to look at the property, how this will boom. It's booming, it's surging, it will change how we manage our properties. We may not need stuff on uh, ground. This means less cost for us, but it means other stuff for us. So we need to be ready for the prop tech and what it means for the community management. A lot of cities are suffering, but we are one of the cities that will emerge stronger. So we need to build on this uh, strength. 
We need to learn for the future. We need to build resilient community. And this is another lesson. We need to invest in resilience of communities, how the different resources of communities are used in crisis time, how we respond to different stressors. And stressors can be economic stressors, environment stressors, and all different kind of, and even health. So we need to absorb and adapt to the changing environment and build a community that survive and prosper. How we strengthen the economic, social, and health systems in communities and in cities where we live. The uh, evidence showed in Japan when tsunami happened, communities that they know each other, they work with each other, they were actually having higher rate of survival and recovery. So please work on the social sustainability and connectivity and connections among people and residents. Uh, we need to build on that and take the health issues more seriously. So we need to make sure that our communities uh, community members are physically and mentally well. There is, uh, uh, they can access all kind of healthy uh, infrastructure. This is part of the resilience. We need to have self-sufficiency. So how many buildings we have supermarkets? How many buildings have food? How many buildings are growing uh, for, uh, uh, gardens and stuff? We need to invest in food security because it was a challenge at the beginning. So at the end of the day, what we need to focus on, the way forward, and this is my last we need to focus on sustainability of communities. We need to focus on the social life. We need to focus on the healthy side. And again, we don't forget we need to focus on value added. I will provide all these services at lower cost and better value. At the end of the day, people now appreciate health more than any time before. They appreciate the greenery more than any time before. So we need to, as a real estate industry and community management company and companies, to tap into these opportunities. And uh, this is my last slide. I'd like to thank you so much for giving me this opportunity and wish you all the best. Thank you so much uh, for having me here today and uh, all the best. Well, that was um, that was a very interesting uh, talk that uh, Dr. Mahmoud al Burai shared with us. And we are very grateful to him that he took the time out from his very loose schedule to record this message.